Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. This rather beautiful day and the rain never came. Wonderful. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 15. By me, kings reign and rulers decree justice. By me, kings reign. And the idea that a king who is a wise king would reign with the attributes and the resources of wisdom is a very positive position to hold. But to be a king and be someone that doesn't use wisdom in the uh, administration would um, really be someone who would be making some really bad mistakes. You know, when you try to live your own life and you uh, just get by managing the problems that come your way is one thing. But managing, as it were, a country for, uh, as it were, the whole of the nation in terms of the decisions you make, uh, it would be an incredible pressure. And King Solomon, uh, who is the wisest man in all the earth, had the Queen of Sheba turn up and uh, just eulogise over his wisdom, um, is someone who is saying, in effect, I enable um, kings to reign well. If they would but use the resources of wisdom to assist them in their decision making. And we need to learn as individuals to do the same as well. It says, um, by kings reign and rulers decree justice. And those two concepts of administering justice in the land uh, can only really happen if we apply wisdom to the administration. Anything else, anything less than that would just be clumsy. When churches try to use human understanding and management and resources without the wisdom of God in the management of churches, we will find ourselves in very negative places. Uh, it's true for churches, it's true for countries, it's true for kings and it's true for paupers. We need wisdom. But of course, the question is, where do you go to get the wisdom? You know, there are a lot of people saying a lot of things as to what they think is right. Why should we not go to them? Why not choose the values and principles and precepts and ideas of humanity? Well, quite simply, because humanity has made a very bad job of managing the world. It's regarded God's counsel as something to discard. And as a result, we are falling apart as a human race. But if we apply God's counsel, we can repair, we can recover. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow.